welcome to my channel. This is Pamela here with Teacher Pamela Plans, where we do everything from crafting to teaching ideas to planning and dreaming and so much more. Today, I'm going to show you my June setup and actually go through. This is actually my May setup, so I'm going to go through what I'm going to do for June 2023. All right, so I just wanted to give you a little bit first of kind of what I've been into and what I've been doing and what I have planned for coming up in June. So the first thing I have here is my Moxie Companion Notebooks. So that's what I've been using for my goal or dream planning. And so I'm gonna continue that in June. So I'm using that. The other thing that I've been using is I've been using this notebook from Jane's Agenda, and this is going to have my moon rituals in it. So I kind of go through some kind of manifesting, different goals, journaling prompts, things like that that coincide with moon cycles. Um, and I have a book, and I should have brought that too, but I have a book, um, and I'll show that in another video to coincide with that and maybe go through that a little bit with you guys of what I kind of do for that. And then this is new for the summer. So that's why I don't have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday filled out because this was for this past week. For my boys, I really want to have a schedule going on that they can see. Um, only one of them can read, but this will help them to know what's going on and for each day during the summer. What I'm doing for the summer is each day having those themes that you've probably seen online or many people have, where it's, you know, make something Monday. Uh, Tuesday is, it varies, but this is gonna be take a trip Tuesday, water Wednesday, thinking Thursday, fun Friday. Um, and so we're going to have a little bit of a plan for each of those days as well as just the usual schedule, get them going so that they have something to do in the summer and they're not just sitting there with all the screen time and too much of that stuff going on. So we're, we're doing things. And so I am going to use this. This is from Jane's Agenda. She gave it in one of the subscription boxes. I believe she, it was the May, actually, the May box. And I didn't know what I was going to do with it. And I've decided this is going to kind of be our weekly schedule. I can post it on the fridge possibly or somewhere where they can see it. And I might use some stamps. And that might help, if I have time, to help my little four-year-old be able to see that. The other thing that I am using right now currently is the JMB Living Joyful Mindful Balanced Living. And I'm in the spring edition of that. This goes through June. And so I'm going to be using this in June as well. So this is my regular journaling. And I've, showed, I've shown this, but even this particular one, before in another video. So if you'd like to see more on the walkthrough of this, you can watch my video on it. And that leads into my regular catch-all planner. So that's why I'm using this is all the fun markers and things like that that I use all the time. And then I have my lovely catch-all planner for May. I used this cocoa paper and this is what it looked like in May. So super cute. And then I'm going to move into my June. So that's what we're going to build today. All right. So let's get started. All right. So for June, it's more... There's some more black and stuff in it. So I'm gonna move to my cocoa paper in black. This particular one is in real leather. There's a little something on there. Sorry, I will get that off and clean it. All right, so this is what I'm using for June. And it's a little dirty. I probably need to clean it a little bit. And then I'm also gonna use this pencil pouch from Jane's Agenda. Lots of fun with that. So I'm going to go ahead and change over those items into my new pencil pouch pretty quickly. I like these kinds because then you can kind of see what's up. You can see what's going on, what you have, what you're working with. So it's kind of nice. So 
So in my pencil pouch, I put my white out. I put my tape runner. I put my ruler. I put my pens, my markers, and that I use on a regular, and my tweezers. And my, sorry, I use my, also my blade, which I need to find the cap too. It's not in here, so I need to find it before I stick that in there. All right. All right, there's my pencil pouch. Next up is the planner itself. So I'm going to get out my discs. So this time around, I'm using red discs. These are from Talia. And these are regular classic size if you will these are one and a quarter discs i just measured them because <laughs> i couldn't remember because i have different size discs um so these are one and a quarter so i'm going to be using those for this month all right so my lovely cover this month was in the jane's agenda most of the things that i use are jane's agenda this was the june subscription deluxe box so most of the stuff I'm going to be using is from that and look at how pretty this is with the red disc and the black amazing so if you're interested in what all is in that subscription box I have another video on that all right so along with that this is going to be my cover I'm layering of course this is another Jane's Agenda edition, but this was from a different subscription box. And uh, don't ask me which one. I just put all my stuff together and put it together how it looks nice. And you can see a little bit of that layering behind it. So fun. And then she gave us a pocket for our quotes. So I'm super excited about that and I'm going to move some of my quotes from this past month into here also. So that's why you see some empty spots but I chose to keep these two were specifically from the box for July and then she had some other ones that I thought would be fun to add. So I put in those which you can see and this is the same as what's on the front of our cover. So it says, I am no bird and no net ensnares me. I am a free human being with an independent will. That's by Charlotte Bront, Jane Eyre. Okay, and then we also have Making Someday Today. And I am in love with summer. Summer is my favorite season of all time because of the sunshine, the poolside, and the downtime. And then we have summer afternoon. To me, those have always been the two most beautiful words in the English language by Henry James. And then we also have the other side quotes. Worry is a misuse of your imagination. It's your story, honey. Feel free to hit them with a plot twist whenever you want to. Plan, plan, plan. Rise and shine. Mind of a queen, heart of a warrior. Collect beautiful moments. I'm gonna grab the ones from May that I'm going to reuse. I just like the, the ambiance this, this adds to my planner. This is Mother, a person who loves unconditionally, the keeper of precious memories, a person much loved and greatly admired. The fears we, won't, we don't face become our limits. So those are the quote cards I'm using for this month. I really kind of Tried to keep the the red, red ones on the back and the more maroonish color ones on the front. So that's what I did. My word of the year is next. Dream is my word. I cherish aspiration, ambition, or ideals. Yeah, so I created this myself on Cami. Not on Cami. That's what my child uses. I created this myself on Canva and I love it all right behind that with layering I'm gonna add this from an old Jane's agenda box and it's double-sided so that's what that looks like this could probably switch over because this would look better with these other things I think 
if I were thinking correctly, like this would look a lot better alongside that than these. So I'm gonna turn those over. I'm gonna switch that like this with these on this side and then this over here. I just feel like that looks better. I have this background. I think it's super pretty. And then it's got a summer bucket list to go with it. That's gonna go with my contents. So that's what I'm gonna put there. All right, after my contents is my inbox. I thought about using my black dividers, but I really like these. You can already see that I need to clean them off. But super cute. And this is gonna be for that. So, oh, so pretty. See, and I could, or I can use my black dividers, but I just, I don't know. I like the clear, you can see what's behind them. So this is from the June subscription box of Jane's Agenda. Look at that bright color, it's just gorgeous. All right, so this is gonna look like that. So this is my inbox, it's clear. I made this also on Canva. This is my inbox. All right, so this is my inbox. That's what it looks like like that. And then on the next page is gonna be my planner routine, which looks really cute with this. Layering. And then I have my folder, double-sided, and this is really, for any sort of notes or receipts or things like that that I need to keep a hold of. So I throw those in there. And this is my double-sided folder from Fancy Plans Co. Love it. Next up is my Perpetual Planner calendar. So I'll move this over to June when it's June. And I already have some things scheduled. And then this on the back of there, which is really cool, is a task list uh, that you think of never. <laughs> so that it's a reminder for each month what's going on. And, oh, I forgot behind my folder. I'm gonna put this because since it's a clear folder, and this is another one from Jane's Agenda from a different subscription box. You just have to walk into the room and be fearless. Never let people think for a minute that you couldn't totally take them down. Stevie Nicks said that. I love that so much. And so this will be behind there before I get to that. So next up is gonna be my brain dump. And then with my brain dump, I add my inbox pages. And currently I have my May in there, but I'm also gonna add my June. So an empty one for June. And then I also am gonna add, this is in the subscription box, it's new. Now these are from Fancy Plan Co. She, from Jane's Agenda, the subscription also came this month with inbox pages, but since I still have some of these, I'm gonna use those first. And then she gave us these someday planning inserts for projects, so I'm gonna add that because I am doing project stuff also in this area. So I will add those as well as my project pages from before. And right now all I have in here is like my online presence, but I need to add in some decluttering and things like that. So I think the someday will help me with that. So I'm gonna get to moving on that. And my next section is my goals section or my dream section. 
So this is my goal thing to make living itself an art. That is the goal by Henry Miller. I have not used this yet. I love it. 52 weeks too. I really wish I was more diligent about it because I really, <laughs> I want to lose some weight. Um, <laughs> I want to feel better. I want to look better. I just more than anything want to feel better. And so that was my plan to use this. But I need to start taking pictures every week and showing results with that. So maybe I'll start this month doing that. All right. And then I'm going to layer that with this beautiful face. So again, this is all Jen Jane's Agenda stuff from, from earlier. My dream 2023. This is my dream board. And it looks like this. Then I have manifestation inserts to put in. I haven't started these yet. I really want to start working on this as well this month. And coinciding it maybe with the moon rituals. Kind of figuring out what to do with that. So I'll probably do it at the same time. Then I have my level 10 life tracker. And I'll show you what that looks like. I have not really completed anything per se if you were to say definitely working on these things but do I feel like I can check any of them off I mean maybe I need to take a better look at it and we're about halfway through the year so I don't know I need to get going on that and then these I really need to do more with I was struggling with how to make them work with how I'm doing my goals. Cause I kind of was like, oh, completed, not completed yet. I've started this. Ugh. And then I just kind of didn't know what to do with it. So, um, yeah, I'm struggling with whether this is working for me or not to even use. I feel like I'm trying to make it work more than it's worth. So we'll see. So my next section is self-care. So for this section, I am layering my dashboard. This, this particular one was from the June box, Jane's Agenda, and this is another Jane's Agenda uh, vellum. It is said that summer is the weekend of the year. June is a Friday night where the stars are wild and infinite. July is a Saturday afternoon, one of reflection and realization that the weekend is almost over. Have you done all that you wanted yet? Or is there more to discover in August? August is a Sunday morning when summer waves and a lazy goodbye like a secret lover who promises to return again. Minerve Jean. Ugh, I love it. I love summer. Summer is my jam. And so this is what that looks like together. So pretty. For my self-care section, I do a tracker of my mood. So this is my mood tracker for May. I need to add the June one, but I haven't printed it off yet. I got this on Etsy. She does a different kind of coloring slash theme for each of them. So this was May's theme. That looks pretty good with that, not too bad. I'm gonna see what June looks like, but I haven't printed it off yet. I'm also gonna add a monthly habit tracker so that I can record what's going on. And I also decided I was gonna add in some fun things. So these are movies and shows to watch. I thought that would be really fun to add for the summertime, things just to chill out to. These are a few of my favorite things. So on here, I'm gonna put some self-care ideas. She actually, I think, gave us these back in, all the way in December, a couple years ago, because these are different. She gave us multiples of these in different boxes. Uh, so I saved these and haven't used them, and I just thought, okay, this would be a good time to use them. I need to start kind of doing some more self-care, focusing intentionally on that. And this would be really great for a list of self-care things. What am I going to do when I have a little bit of extra time for myself that is very intentional? And then I'm going to add in, these are the self-care inserts and 
So I love these so much because she has areas for mind, body, and soul. And I think I'm going to do some plan with me videos coming up here so you can see me decorating these and using these a little bit more. So I'm going to get started with doing some of that stuff more and more. So for each of these, I also add in my routine. So I add in these routines. And I'll show you what that looks like. So these are tip-ins of my routine, AM and PM. I usually right here put some sort of washi or something because it repeats minutes and ounces of water. I just do that per day. I don't do it per, I don't separate that out for the AM and PM. So I just get rid of that and this is the total I put down here. So I'm just putting one on each week here for June so that it's ready to go. And June continues on, so then this is the next set. And I, I just like, I don't wanna, I wanna use all of them. So some weeks, you know, there's four in a week. Some, she doesn't have, they're undated. So some months have four weeks or five weeks or whatever. And so I continue on is what I do. So this gives me a couple, a couple more. So my next area is my schedule. So I have the lunar phases in this, in this section to start out. I'm gonna layer that with this beautiful one from I think February or something like that. I don't remember, but it's really pretty. Got a little bit of red in it. So that's my layering. All right, then I have my schedule divider. And then I have some fun layering. So I put the month first and Jane gave us this in a subscription box. And I'm gonna put this behind it. So that's what this looks like. So pretty for June. Haven't figured out what to do with these. She gave us these in the May subscription box and I just, I don't know. I mean, it's really cute. I just, I don't know yet. So then I'm also gonna put my June. This is what I put <laughs> for my monthly. Okay, so for my monthly, um, she gave us this in a box. I don't like it. But I like having just the front like this. Very simple, easy. So what I do is I glue the front of one I, the one I actually use, but I don't like the front of, to this. And then this is my actual executive calendar that I use. I love it. It's great. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue those together. So I like to line up the holes because that makes it a little bit easier to make it actually lay correctly and line up. Forgot my year to glance, there's that. Then I go to the month itself, which is June. And there's my executive monthly. So for this week, I'm gonna be using these weeklies. I'll show you in a second, get them in. I put the whole thing in there, but I'm not gonna use all of them because I'm gonna be changing and I'll show you that in another video what I changed to. But these are my weeklies. What's missing for me is the habit tracker. So what I do is from my dailies, I cut out this section, glue it over here, and then those are my habits. So I'm gonna do that right now. So first I cut it out like this and then I use, as you can see, it takes up too much room on this particular side, so then I draw a line to cut it on that particular side. Not that any of you need to know these adjustments because you know the likelihood of other people doing this exact same thing is very unlikely. However, I like to show you these things just to show you that you can adapt your things. Like if you don't like the way it's completely set up, because honestly, I don't know, are we ever gonna is it ever gonna be perfect unless you design it yourself? Maybe not. And so there are ways to adjust things. 
Also, there's not much space here. So I also adapt that with these inserts. So I put the days of the week there. I have one coming up for this week. So then I'll put one here. And again, I don't think I'll, I may not need to use these for the next insert that I use. So we'll see. And I also put in my cleaning insert. But these need to be adapted before I actually use them. So I'm actually gonna probably put most of them in the cleaning section. But for now, I am gonna put this one here in this section so that I can just pull it out and adapt it to my own needs. Next up comes my faith section. My faith section this time is gonna look like this with the layering, so pretty. I think this is how we are supposed to be in the world, present and in awe. This is Anne Lama. And I love this, this actual layering. This vellum is not from this box, but this is so bright and beautiful. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. So my face section is Happy Planner. At some point I need to go over that. It's an old school Happy Planner. I haven't done much in this section recently, but I have something new coming for this too. So I'm excited. And I'm running out of room, guys. For my home section, I have this beautiful layering. This is from an old box. This is from an old box as well. But I like the layering of it. And I still have some sections to go. <laughs> so this is where I usually add in these cleaning tasks. And then I add in the clean mama routine so I can figure out what I want to do with my cleaning. But I don't know, guys. This is tight. I may have to get rid of some stuff. Boo! And then I also keep my spring cleaning ideas in here. Jane gave us this a long time ago, and I really like it. I'm still not there with the spring cleaning. And it's summer, pretty much. Whatever. We'll see if I can get that to work, finish up. And then this is like kind of an example I use for the extra things that I add and how I change up this cleaning task list. list. My next section is finance. I do stuff for my online teaching in here as well as my own personal buys not things we buy for the kids but trying to budget what i buy for my own self so this is my layering for that so pretty yeah i'm gonna have to take some stuff out this isn't gonna work but this is my last section other than my notes section which has just got extra extra stuff in it extra paper basically so my wish list ideas these are the blank ones and then in here like banking transactions so what I actually do and then what I'm budgeting last is my notes section I usually keep just extra papers but you know what I'm gonna have to do this is just really tight. I'm gonna have to take out my cleaning mama stuff and just keep it keep it somewhere else. I have like quads and um, just different kind of notes paper that I can use if I want to for different things. So last I'm gonna add my cover on the back and then I just decided to layer it with this guy, which you can't really, you're probably not gonna see much of but because this is tight but this isn't really going to be this is going to tuck under so as far as the rings are concerned it's not as much of an issue it's going to go under there so it's not on that section of the rings so that is my planner I'm going to add in my front situations and this is gonna go in my inbox. Love this as an inbox.
box. This is going to be hard to get all these in now. These are thick. So that's going to go there. And this is going to be in here. So cute. Also give this really cool washi tape just to use for fun. I'll probably use it in my JMB living journal. And then I have my page finders. So I put one in a couple different areas. Let's see, I usually put one in my routine, my planner for my planner routine. Because this one's kind of backwards, I'm gonna put this one here, because that works better. This got punched incorrectly. <laughs> um, it happens, they do a lot of boxes, so. But I think that that would work really well there then. My weekly, I usually have one for whatever week it is. And then I also use one for my self-care. Since this is the Jean one. All right, so that's gonna go here. So now I have all my books done. Can this close? That is the question. I don't know. It's so cute though. I feel like I need more in the front. Oh yes. I forgot that I have these adorable bird clippies. <gasps> so cute, but I still feel like I need some more, something in the front, I don't know what. So I might add something else on that this looks really plain when I'm opening it up. I'll have to add something there. But that is my planner set up for June. Very soon I will add my video on my, what I'm gonna be changing here for my weeklies. And I am going to try to do a June monthly plan with me. I think that would be fun. I haven't done any plan with me's, but I think I need to start adding some plan with me. So come join me for that. All right. I'll see you soon. And don't forget, keep dreaming. Please subscribe and like down below.